My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There's a few topics I'd like to mention about. I'd like to talk about Islam, the beauty, the, the Islam which gives you benefits and let lets you into a paradise. There's a few topics I'd like to talk about. The first topic is the word called Kalima Tehwit, which is this word here. As you see, it's La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah. I like to start with this word. This word is so powerful and such a valuable word. It's more valuable than this earth we live in it and the whole universe itself. This is the key to gonna let you into paradise. Without this word, without this word knowing it, there is no way you can enter the paradise itself. Allah Ta'ala promising the people, if you say that one time with strong belief, He promises you one day you will enter paradise. But you have to say it and believe it, not just say it and forget about it. This word is written on paradise, which is eight gates on the top of the each gate written this kalimah kil tawheed and says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. Let me tell you about paradise. Paradise is such a place everybody would like to enter it. There is everything you can imagine. There is everything you desire. There is everything your eyes just falling in love with, with in the paradise. Whatever contains in there you just love to have it and you just have it. Allah Ta'ala gives you instantly. The mansion, the river made from honey, the river made from pure milk, the river made from pure water, endless joy for people to be there. And the only way to earn this paradise is to stick to this word, learn it and study this word and live this word, this word. Basically, five times prayer salah, which is salah is such an amazing prayer. It takes you takes away all the sin you committing you'll see the result that you don't you stay you stay away from the sin you it keeps you away it drains it out from you you become totally different person you become perfect person for your family for your parents, for your husband and wife, for your children, you become a decent person. And believe me, that's the reality. It happened to me. I started praying during the Salah five times prayer a while ago. Well, five, six months ago. And the result I got is in inspeakable, unbelievable. I stopped swearing, really, I stopped swearing. I used to be a proper swear person. I swear to anything. I get angry, I just swear. I stopped getting angry. 
I start becoming nice to everybody. I start respecting any color, any person I see. I just love everybody. I start loving everybody. That's the benefit from doing uh, five times prayer a day. Happiness. Are you really looking for happiness? Come and have five find happiness in Islam that's for sure I guarantee you that Islam gives you all you need that's not a temporary happiness there's a permanent happiness which is Islam offering you there are some people with a lot of money millionaires what they normally do they buy Ferrari they buy mansion they buy all sort of stuff just to keep them happy for a while but then what happens they get bored with it they they just want to get rid of them and buy something new when they get the new item they get bored with it they get Ferrari they get getting bored with it and what happens they turn into alcohol and some illegal substance you see all some of the famous people, they've been doing over drinking, doing over illegal substance, and ha look how miserable they live. Look at their lives. It's got to be a reason. there got to be a reason. And don't forget, 67,000 people every 24 hours a day. People converting to Islam, mashallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. There's something tells you. There's a reason. Because the happiness you gain from Islam, you get it from nowhere. Believe me, brothers and sisters. I'm the I'm a life example for it. And take my word for it. You see on the net so many so many dirty stuff going on for instance porn lies cheats people want to sell something by lying why would you bother do you know how bad it is to look at a porn and it just messes you up you no longer become family member you don't you start disrespect your mother and father and close friends you become hooked to it you just waste your life and that's that's definitely not gonna lead you into the jannah to paradise i promise you that <clears throat> by the way some of the Christian friends, would you like to know about Jesus? The real Jesus is in the Quran. Jesus, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Quran, most detailed, most beautiful way you can ever imagine. Jesus, yes, is in the Quran. Look into it. Look how Jesus, peace be upon him. The beautiful prophet himself how is this crap in the Quran if you cry don't blame me <laughs> anyway and I have to mention today Islam is the fastest growing religion on the planet there's a reason for it is a good reason for it people find the happiness the joy and people believe in the religion and this religion will lead you to paradise inshallah if you if you obey Allah Ta'ala if you do your prayer if you go to Saudi Arabia visit Hajj Kaaba which is in Saudi Arabia 
if you do your five uh, prayers a day if you fast once a year that which is 30 days which is healthy for you your stomach at least your stomach and heart will relax and so so many joy you can have in Islam I don't understand why people want to say the judge about Islam they they mention about the this and that in Middle East problems there and there you get bad topics from every different religion this is human to you we are created we are created to make to create create problems to each other this is the human nature there's nothing you can do about it only you can do work together and tell about the truth so people will find the right path and find happiness and the benefit is out of that you're gonna enter paradise would you, wouldn't you like be a neighbor in paradise to Jesus Isa alayhi salam wouldn't you like to be a neighbor in paradise to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wouldn't you like to be a neighbor in paradise to Ibrahim? Wouldn't you like to be a neighbor to all these beautiful prophets came and left? Wouldn't you like to be with them in paradise? And guess what? They all came with the same message. Worship to one God, one creator. Why would you create some other religions with so many gods? What? Where there you can pray to one God, one Creator. It upsets me sometimes. I see in India they they talk about three thousand gods and they create in every day different stuff. What a waste of space! Come on, guys, wake up. There's only one God to worship is Allah Taala. And guess what? It upsets me more when I hear. Allah Ta'ala, the creator, the maker of this world, of the whole universe, Allah Ta'ala creates the wheat so people can eat and feed themselves. And guess what people doing with, with the wheat? They turn into a alcohol, beer, lager. People killing themselves from overdose alcohol. Why would you bother? Why would you? Where there are so many people starving in Africa. People don't even find the wheat to cook their bread, to cook their dinner, to cook their food. Is that fair, really? God creates wheat on earth so we can uh, eat and appreciate it. On the other hand, some people turn into alcohol so people lay flat on the road that doesn't make sense to me come on guys <clears throat> and there's another benefit to enter in paradise if you enter paradise you're gonna have houses so big so big you won't believe it will take so many years for one person to cross the whole house takes so many years to walk to able to walk in the whole house itself and that house mentioned by the uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his hadith the houses the mansion the palaces of in the paradise is see-through can you imagine that beauty you'll be having the most beautiful partner ever if one one horin one woman shows herself in this world she will put out the sun the brightness of the sun she will put it out completely Allahu Akbar and 
the most important 